Hi, and welcome to Action 5 News. My name is Jack Collin, and tonight I will be covering with you the two main events of the last 24 hours. First off, there has been a fire at the late Mr. Glamis' vacant estate. The police suspect arson. Mr. Glamis was a famous cereal maker. He invented Glamar, a cereal drink, which was very healthy, but tasted awful. And Odie Crisps, similar to Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Both of these cereals made him very, very rich. Later in his life, he picked up witchcraft. It is said that he put a curse on all of his mansions to protect him. Another interesting fact about Mr. Glamis is he did not leave a will. It, he left only a few clues to its location in his office the day he died. They were a Greek newspaper, a sign for ye old tea shop, and a chess set in the starting formation. If you know someone that finds this will, Mrs. Glamis' wife will give you a $10,000 reward for giving it back to her family. Next on our agenda is the death of Miss, the same Mr. Glamis as before, sister's death. She died from a heart attack. She was in her hotel room that she owned over a box of witchcraft. Jeez, I'm starting to think that the Glamises might actually be witches. What? Oh, breaking news. Johnny Nixon has just been found in the, the rubble of the, Mr. Glamis' estate. The police might have just found their arson. Yeah, oh, what? Okay. Johnny has survivable wounds, but is in a coma. He needs to be hospitalized immediately. Well, thank you for turning into Action 5 News. We'll have more on Johnny's condition tomorrow. Thank you. Beautiful prayer. This is the end. My only friend, the end. Oh. I'm Jack Collin, and I'm here today with Johnny Nixon. Johnny Nixon has just woken up from his coma. Also, today, the Red Sox have won their 10 billionth World Series in a miraculous 10 years. And here's our new exclusive interview with Johnny Nixon. So, Johnny, were you the arson? No, of course not. It definitely was not. I would never do that. Do you know who it was? Yeah, it was the ghost. It was called the Guardian. She lit the entire place up. Johnny, you know that the Guardian is just a myth to scare kids, right? No, of course not. You found the will? Yes. Really, where is it? Yes, it's in the statue of Godfrey de Bouillon. I, that's what I was looking for when I was there. So if I call the police right now and tell them to look in the statue of Godfrey de Bouillon, that the will would be there. Yes. Well, okay then. Hello, this is Jack Collins from Action 5 News. Johnny here says that he has found the will. Is this true? He said it is in the statue of Godfrey de Bouillon. Are you kidding me? It really is there? It's... Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Johnny, how did you find this? Well, my interest started when Professor Childmass took me to Mr. Glamis' mansion slash museum. The, when we walked in, for, when we walked around for a little while, then we walked to his office. There I saw the clues to his will. I thought it was interesting, but I didn't do anything about it until I went to Boy Scout camp. There, I put it all together. When I went hiking, I saw his name on a, a mansion. That night, I snuck out with my friend Fergie. You know Fergie? No, Byron Ferguson. I wish I knew her, though. Oh, okay. Go on. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. Well, we were there, and someone showed us a secret passage. He was Mr. Glamis' brother. We found him and went under the house, and but we couldn't go any farther because he said we had to go back. He did tell us a trick, though. If you're by a ghost and you have a candle, it'll burn blue. Just like Shakespeare wrote. That was the last night of camp, so I had to go back. I decided that I would sneak out and take a train to Cadman Center. It's really close to the mansion, but I felt really bad having to take money from my grandparents to be able to afford the train because we're poor. When I got to there, I took a book. I there I booked into a hotel of a witch, not knowing she was one yet. A witch yet. She was the lady that died at 
or death. I think she was trying to like get the guardian to work or something. She said she was going to kill me that night, but when she was talking to a ghost. Did you, how did you know that she was talking to a ghost? I saw him fly away. Once I saw that, I took my flashlight, ran to the secret passage that man showed us. I then lit a candle and walked through the tunnel into the courtyard where I saw a church. I look at the church and see that there was a message. I couldn't read it, so I found a ladder, climbed up, and saw what it said. It said, in the year 1653, when all things sacred were thought out, ye nation, either demolished or profound, Sir Robert Shirley, baronet, founded this church, whose singular praise it is, though how done the best thing in ye worst times, and hoped them in calamitous, the righteous shall be had an everlasting remembrance. There are two yees, so for, there was one ye in the sign, so for the shop. I took one look at the first one, nothing special about it, but the second one, there was a hole around it. So I took out the piece of stone, and inside was a box of bullion blocks. Right then, I thought was so disappointed. I thought I came all this way just to find a toy. But then it started to rain, so I had to run inside to the mansion because the church was locked. So then, when I get inside, I see my candle. It just turned blue. I was scared to death. I had to run out. I was running so fast when I passed the sign of Godfrey de Bouillon. Then I see it. I kick it, and it's not hollow. So I have to, then I kick the base of it, and I hear something hollow. But right when I do that, the house bursts in fire, like out of nowhere. So then I blank out, and the rest is history. And I find the will in ashes, but it's still awesome. Miss Glamis gives me the $10,000 reward, and I'm so happy. Thank you for letting me on your show. Congratulations on what an incredible story, John. Thank you for coming on our show. Thank well, thank you for tuning in to Action 5 News with Jack Holland. And let's hope the Red Sox win their 10 billionth and one World Series tomorrow. This is the end, my own.